Brooks and Dolly Pincus were married for 30 years. They raised two children, and there was never a family wedding or bar mitzvah where they were not generous participants. Yes. <laughs> Got a private minute? Yeah, sure, sure. You're leaving anyhow in a few minutes. Oh, I don't even know if I should tell you. What? Tell me what? <laughs> tell me, and I will tell you if you oh, should tell me. Oh, my heart is heavy. What, what happened? Nothing terrible happened to your husband, Phil. Oh, please. He has been dead for so many years. Well, when I was in Florida last yeah. week, I ran into a man who uh, heard from someone, who, who knew someone, who... Uh, yeah. Anyway, it seems Max has some secret from his past. Uh, Max? You're talking about my Max? Yep. A dark secret. What kind of a dark secret? Dark? What? What, what is by you dark? I don't know. What kind of a dark secret? <laughs> We've been married for 30 years already. You're his first wife? No, sure I'm a first wife. But before me... Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. Why? Why? You heard something different? I heard only a dark secret. Do I know what dark secret? Who told you? Wolf Fishbein. Uh, be careful, Dolly. That's all I want to say. Dolly tried putting Elsie's words out of her mind, but Max's dark secret plagued her. Then one day, she ran into Wolf Fishbein, and the truth was revealed. Breathe deeply. Try to breathe deeply. Oh, you are right, Elsie. You are right. Fishman told me a tale. Max, before I met him, he lived in Florida. He had a store. Groceries. He was married. He was now, married. Now it comes out. To a woman. With two children. Max had other children? No. A woman's children from a prior marriage. Uh-huh. He began an affair with a downstairs neighbor, a widow. He probably had all his hair then. Meanwhile, he got into debt deeper and deeper and, and carry on with, with the neighbor. Oh, my heart, my heart. So he can't get himself out of, of a predicament. So what does he do? You're going to tell me he stole money. I should be so lucky. He killed his wife. No. The man purchased an axe. With an axe? And you know, Max, he's nothing with tools. He, he can't even hang a picture. I'm dropping dead. Plus her children, Elsie. <gasps> Plus a neighbor. Four. Four people he killed one night with an axe. Your Max? And this is not a capper. There's more? More. More. What more? He ate them. What are you talking crazy? Elsie, he devoured them. I can't breathe. Everything is closing in. Whatever you do, first hear Max aside. Max has a side. He kills his family and eats them up. The man has a side. He was a good husband and a loving father for 30 years. You have a daughter who went to college. You have a son who's a writer. Maybe the, the best course of action is let sleeping dogs lie. Honey, would you pass the sour cream? You uh, haven't touched the thing. Nice weather. It's OK. It's not just OK. It's nice. All right, all right. What are you getting so steamed up about? What makes you such an authority on the weather? Me? All I said. I know, I know, I know what you said. The fish is delicious. Wouldn't you rather have meat? Since when do I eat meat? Mm -hmm. With my arteries, you gotta watch out for the cholesterol. Uh-huh. What is the uh-huh, uh-huh? I mean, you've been very touchy lately. Don't interrogate me, Mr. Max Pinchick.
Where did you hear that name? Did you kill your first wife with an axe? I got a headache. Did you Please. chop her up along with your mistress? Okay. If I tell you why I did it, do you promise not to nudge me? Wolf Fishbein said, in order to hide the bodies, you ate them. So what are you making a fuss? Some bury, some burn. I ate. I know. 